Hey, Jake, how you doing? Good, good. Hey, um, you ought to try this Italian restaurant. You ought to try this Italian restaurant over off 45th. It's uh, Maria, Maria Bella's. You ought to go try that. Actually, you know what? You really need to go try that. You really, really, really need to go try that. Bella Maria's. I mean, wow. Have I tried it myself? Well, no, no, not yet. Not yet, but uh, looks good, sounds good. Hey, you know what? Susan, Susan, you know what? You need to go see this movie, this movie over here. Go, go see it. It's incredible. Absolutely amazing. No, actually, you know what? You you got to see this. You got to get your hands on this movie. You have got to go to this movie. It could change your life. No, no, I haven't seen it yet myself. No, no, but, um, but uh, you know, I'm excited and I'm hearing good things. Hey, hey. Jesse, oh, you're looking for a babysitter? Oh, you should use Sophia. Use Sophia. She's incredible. Yeah, yeah, Sophia. Oh, man, you're going to love her. Sophia's amazing. <laughs> Sophia is like, she, she does all these amazing things. You're, you're going to be crazy about her. Oh, my gosh, you're, you're not going to get enough of her. You're going to use her every time. No, no, we haven't, we haven't used her ourselves yet. No. You guys, social media is so stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so stupid. You guys, come on. I'm seeing people all over social media, all different things. Guys, listen, if I like, let's, let's just say for a moment that I ate at Chili's, okay? Just because I like the, the chicken tenders, does that mean I like everything at Chili's? <laughs> Does that mean everything at Chili's is good for everyone and appeals to everyone? Like, you got to think of the common sense of this. And then you got to look and, and you've got to ask yourself, what are you doing? What are you doing? How in the hell can you promote a product you've never tried before? <laughs> like, I don't get it, guys. Like, I see it all the time. And I'm sitting there asking myself, like, what are they doing? Why are they promoting products that they've never tried before themselves. Do, you know, do people do this? Oh, do people do this? <laughs> oh man, do people, okay. I literally see it all the time on almost a daily basis. People promoting like passionately products they've never even held, products they've never even consumed. In fact, to, to, I'll, I'll give you even further evidence. Crystal, being a blogger and being a, an influencer, if you will, which she doesn't pride herself on being an influencer, but being a, you know in that space for as long as she has been, she's constantly bombarded with people who say, you know, hey, will you uh, if 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 you will share our product online, then we'll pay you this amount of money. They'll ask you to do it before you've ever even held the product. And guess what, influencers. Do it every single day. Every day, these influencers, just to show you how disingenuous people can be, it's no different than, you know, Kobe Bryant or someone like that pretending they drink, you know, Sprite, which I don't know that Kobe ever did that, so forgive me, but, but LeBron James lives on Sprite. Right, yeah, right. LeBron James lives on Sprite. Well, that's sure the impression you get from the media, that's what they're telling our children and show him with his Sprite. Like, like Michael Jordan actually ate at McDonald's, right? It's happening every single day all over social media. And it's like these people who have influence, they, they're no different than these celebrities getting, I mean, it's crazy. And I, I'm seeing it all the time. I just got reached out to by a person and they go, hey, we like your beard. Would you be willing to be the spokesperson for our beard products? And we would, you know, pay you this, give you that. And then I'm like, okay, but here's what's crazy. They have you commit, they have you actually commit to it before you've ever tried the product. 
How is that, even, how is that possible? How in the heck am I supposed to rep a beard product that I've never even touched, seen, smelled, that, that, that never has made a difference in my life, that's never made a difference for my, my sweet baby beard, <laughs> but, but bottom line is like, this is what's happening every single day. I see it every day. People, and guess what? They jump on the bandwagon. They're like, oh, they're, they're promoting that? Oh my gosh, I gotta promote that too. I gotta get a piece of that pie. But they've never tried the product. What if they tried the product and it sucks for them? They've already promoted it to their whole sphere of influence. What does that say about someone's character? They don't really care if it works. They don't really care. And if you say, well, no, they just trust that it's gonna work. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Are you serious? So we can just trust, we can just take other people's word for it. Like, is that a, is that a place of authenticity? Are you, are you serious? So guys, too much run by the almighty dollar. No shit, Heather, no shit, and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. And it starts hitting close to home because I'm like, guys, guys, we're not chasing money. We're not chasing money. I mean, we've got to, we've got to operate from a place of integrity and sincerity. And this all comes down to what your character is. And no, I would never just share a product with people and just say, well, it's probably going to help someone. It's probably going to help someone. I'll give you an example. I'll show you how real I am. I actually made a post about a drink that at first I drank it and I thought, oh, that's great, you know, and that, that's supposed to give me energy and da, 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 da. But guess what? Later, I had a bad experience with that same product and it started to hurt my gut really bad because I don't do well with sugar alcohols, really don't do well. I hate sugar alcohols with a freaking passion. And so guess what? I felt so disingenuous that I had already done that post. I did. I felt so disingenuous because I was like, damn, like I should have waited actually. I should have waited and I should have seen how, you know, not just taste it once and oh, hey, sure. drink the Kool-Aid, share the Kool-Aid. Guys, we can do better. We can do better as, as friends, as uh, influencers, if you will. Um, my industry, we can do so much better. Please, <laughs> please. And I know how it feels because you're like desperate. You're like, well, everybody's gonna promote. I, I gotta get promoting. I gotta get promoting too. I gotta get promoting. You haven't even tried the damn product. Come on, man. Come on. What do you want your culture to be? That's what I'm saying. What do you want the culture to be? The culture that we're hoping for in ER Shred, our culture is one of legitimacy, real results, authenticity, and character born of personal experience. And no, I wouldn't just say, hey, you know, this beard stuff's gonna make me money and I'm sure it's good for somebody out there. I mean, I don't have to love it. It's gonna be good for somebody out there. That is, in my opinion, my opinion, which I'm entitled to, is that that is wrong. That is wrong to just assume that, like if you were to say, well, hmm, it's not really in line with my personal, you know, um, preferences, if you will. It, it's not really clean enough for me, or it's not really this enough for me, or it's not really that enough for me. It's not really my, my, uh, my flavor. But I'm sure it's okay. With, I'm sure it works for other people. Therefore, I'll rep it. Therefore, I'll push it out there. Therefore, I'll give the impression that I love it or the impression that I've had a personal experience with it when I haven't. Guys, we can do better. We can do better than this. And I'm just talking broadly on all levels. Like, we have got to do better. And we have not, we have got to not pull, be so trigger happy. So desperate to share, share something new all the time. Oh my God. Come on, guys. What's more important than money? Your reputation, maybe? Your character? 
I mean, I, I, I think it is. It's old fashioned, but I think it is. My industry is very guilty of this. My industry is very guilty of this because there's people and they go and they jump into things and then they just make it look like everything associated with that is just perfect, the best, better than anything else. It's, that's not true. Get that crap out of your head. That's not true. And who's, who's doing that to you? Like, have you ever stopped and said, who is dictating that to me? See, that's one of the things that I grew, stepped into when I left religion was I always thought that my religion was squeaky clean. I always thought that my religion was like better than everybody else's. I really did. I thought my religion was more true than everybody else's. I thought my religion made everybody in it happier than everybody else's. I thought that, you know, we had some secret sauce, some special thing. And, and it actually, you know, it actually gave me a, a, not of intent, but I started to be condescending, if you will. I started to prop myself up above other people and other beliefs. And, you know, that is a very intolerant perspective, intolerant. So we have, we can't take this on when it comes to marketing. Market what you absolutely know to be true for you. Market what is, is actually born of personal experience, please, please. And if you don't know about other products, don't, don't badmouth them. Don't do that. And that's what a lot of people do in religion. They don't know about other religions and then they badmouth them, not even really having had a personal experience or investigating them. They just bad, bad mouth them for the sake of, I'm better. Mine's better. Mine has to be better. Don't do that. Stop doing that, please. And don't drink the Kool-Aid. Like, ask yourself, who is making me feel the need to do that? Who is making me feel the need to market products that I have not even touched or tasted yet? Where is that coming from? And is that the right way to operate? Ask yourself, please ask yourself. Is that how the world should operate? Ah, it's not how I want my world to operate. I don't want my children to grow up in a world like that. I don't. That's people chasing money. You might say, well, you're very fortunate that you're in a position where you don't have to play those games. I think if we all stop playing the games, then the games will stop. I think that's very important. It's important for our future. It's important for all of us. Um, really, really important, you guys. Come on. We can do better.